Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about is it safe to apply fertilizer in the fall? We do get this question from non-farmers. Uh, you know, the media in general, I think, just believes that fertilizer is something bad. Well, all fertilizer is, is plant food. You know, we really get a lot of questions about, all right, you aren't gonna plant the crop out there till next spring. Why are you doing so much work out in the field? Why are you doing tillage? Why are you putting on fertilizer? And I think a lot of people don't really understand how much work there is in farming. When you look at just getting the seed bed prepped, getting all the nutrients in place, I mean, those are big time consuming jobs. And if we get harvest done in the fall before there's snow and before the ground freezes up, farmers really have an opportunity to get some of those jobs done so in the spring if weather conditions go against us like they did in 2014 where winter held on all the way until it seemed like mid-may at least in the upper midwest well wow there was just no time for farmers to do all those jobs and plant so if there's time to do it farmers are going to want to do it in the fall now the question is can it be done safely and environmentally conscious okay every fertilizer product is a little bit different there are products that leach in other words ones that move down through the soil profile file with lots of rain, especially in lighter soils. Like on the ground we're standing on, it's a very heavy soil, so to think that products like nitrate, sulfate, and boron are going to leach real easily through this soil? No way, it's not going to happen. But in a lot of soils, lighter soils, sandier soils in other words, then it's very easy for those fertilizer products to move down in the soil with rain. Okay, so right away you say, oh no, a farmer better not put nitrogen, sulfur, or boron out in the fall. Well, that's true that he probably has to be careful, but the farmer can put some nitrogen, sulfur, and boron out there. So what a farmer will look at is how much in total can his soil hold? What farmers do is they test their soil for something called cation exchange capacity. And the farmer can simply take his cation exchange capacity number times 10. That'll tell him roughly how much nitrogen his soil can hold at any one time. As long as he doesn't overdo that, usually he's relatively safe. Then you look at the form of fertilizer. Farmers are actually putting out in their field. In some cases, like with phosphate, for example, it's in the form of a rock and it's going to take some time for that fertilizer to break down and become available for the plant to take up as food next year. So by putting out some of the forms of fertilizer, especially the dry fertilizer in the fall, farmers have some time to get rainfall or snow on the field and then as that melts and moves through the soil profile it can help break that fertilizer down so it's available for the crop next year. Yeah but the thing is when you look at products like phosphorus, potassium, and zinc, they really don't move in soil. So as long as the farmer places them into the soil a little bit, they're not going anywhere. They're going to be there for years and years until they get removed by plants. Now, certainly if a farmer was to lay fertilizer on top of the ground that doesn't move down in the soil, then he's at a little bit more risk. So we just encourage farmers who do apply fertilizer in the fall, products like phosphorus, potassium, and zinc that don't move in the soil, to physically place them down into the soil themselves, and then those products are much safer. Okay, we talked about some fertilizer that could potentially move, like nitrogen fertilizer. If it gets converted over into the nitrate form, it could potentially leach. So another practice that farmers have really readily adopted over the last decade or so is using nitrogen stabilizers with their nitrogen. What the nitrogen stabilizers do is basically hold that nitrogen in the form called ammonium, which has a positive charge. By keeping the nitrogen in that positively charged state, it can chemically and physically bind to our soil Soil, so it's not going to go anywhere. Soil actually has a negative charge and positively charged ammonium will lock up to it just like a magnet. Now if you get into that nitrate form which is a negative charge, a negative and a negative are going to repel and that's where we could actually lose some nitrogen. So nitrogen stabilizers really help farmers hold that nitrogen in the right form so it stays in their soil where they want it. The real big keys here too for farmers are number one to apply their fertilizer late in the fall so then the ground is either just about froze or going to be here in the next couple three weeks so then the farmer doesn't have to worry that anything's going to move through that moisture that does come after that point is usually going to be in the form of snow at least in our part of the country so not a real big concern for us and the other real key here is to just do it on fields 
sites that they know are relatively safe from flooding. So like the ground we're standing on, for example, occasionally will flood out. I don't want to put fertilizer out here. People just, especially in the media, they say, oh, these farmers are polluting the earth and everything else. Um, farmers don't have the money to pollute the earth. They barely have enough money to put the crop out there. The last thing they want to do is put fertilizer out and have that go to waste. So a farmer is not dumb enough to put stuff where it's going to flood out on a regular basis. Farmers are very careful about where they are applying that fertilizer in the fall. And then the other key is just making sure that they know what crop they're going to plant and when they're going to plant in the spring. If it's on fields where they're going to plant relatively early in the spring, they can use that fertilizer up before they have a whole lot of risk for loss. Well, farmers certainly have a lot of motivation to get work done in the fall if they can, getting that seed bed ready and getting plant food out there so it's ready to go for their crops next spring. Farmers have adopted a number of different methods to make sure they're environmentally friendly with what they're doing, using stabilizers with the fertilizer to protect it from leaching and loss, and also putting that fertilizer down underneath the soil where it's safe from any potential erosion or, or spring washing off the field too. Well, another real important thing if a farmer wants to be successful in his operation is controlling our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 